Hi, I'm interviewing Lynn Slaughter at our Book of Literacy event. Lynn, tell us a little bit about yourself and the books that you've read. Oh, okay. Well, this is actually my second career. I, for many years, was a professional dancer and dance educator. And so, after I stopped dancing, uh, my first book was actually about a young dancer while I danced. And then I uh, went back to school got my MFA in writing popular fiction from Seton Hill, and I just kept going. So uh, I kind of love uh, combining uh, mystery with romance. And uh, most of my books are young adult, although this book is my debut adult mystery, Miss Q. So it's a little bit about it. Thank you for coming around, Sam. Very good. Tell us a little bit about, about your creative process. Do you like have a home office? Do you write at a particular time of day? What what inspires you? I prefer writing in the mornings. I'm a little bit more awake there. And um, my creative process uh, is sort of twofold. I will get kind of a wisp of an idea, a, a premise for a book. And but before, uh, after I have that, before I do any writing, I do a lot of pre-writing about characters. And I really feel strongly that character development is key. That once you really can immerse your readers in, the, in your characters, and once they become very real to me, I have a much better chance of them being real to my readers. So, uh, so I do a lot of that, and then I find that out of that grows quite a few ideas for plots and just keep going. So. so talk to us about how you have published your books. How did you pick a publisher or did you do it yourself? Um, I publish traditionally, but I publish uh, with small publishers who don't require an agent. And, Take care. Um, See you. Bye. Nice I, to hear. Um, because I got started so late, um, I really didn't want to uh, try to go with the whole find an agent that can take up to two years and then another two years before something comes out. And because I'm such a late starter, I have kind of gone with people who would publish me uh, without having an agent. So, people, there are so many interesting ways to publish now. I mean, there are, I have many friends who publish independently and do very well with that. Um, and then there are small presses, and then there are sort of your big five where you really must have an agent uh, in order to have your work considered. So. What's the best way that you found to promote your books? Mm. Oh gosh, I don't know. I, um, I Obviously, I like to do these kinds of local events, and I go to lots of writer writing conferences. I'm not terribly good with um, social media. <laughs> I think probably because I'm not a digital native. But uh, for my last three books, I've actually had a publicist work with me from Books Forward. And one of the things that um, she has done uh, is help me uh, line up interviews and podcasts and I think this past book, she had me write eight different articles that appeared, including one in Writer's Digest. Um, so she's been very helpful in terms of my building some kind of a, I don't know what you call it, a platform, I guess. And Lynn, what would be a bit of advice you would give for a first time author? I would say don't give up uh, is the biggest one and to develop a regular writing habit uh, and uh, to read a great deal. And also, you know, there are tons of wonderful craft books out there, but just reading, in, especially in the genre in which you want to work, it's very important. And joining a critique group can be very helpful. Um, taking classes um, and then a slew of online classes you can take it can fit into people's schedules. Um, but the most important thing to do is to write because it's like any other profession. 
you have to do it regularly. I call it button chair. <laughs> Well, great advice, and thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you.